Good morning, everyone. It is six something in the morning right now, and ghoul is ghoulin'. <laughs> Looking like I came from the depths of ghoul town. <laughs> so today, I thought it'd be fun because we still haven't decorated for Easter. We were supposed to decorate for Easter in my spring or feels like spring vlog, and it never happened. So I really wanted to still decorate for Easter and take y'all with me. We're doing that today. I figured I'd do it vlog style, so we'll of course make our morning coffee, take our first sip of the day. I'll get ready, meet you guys down here, and we'll start decorating for Easter. Yeah, that's what we're doing today. So let's start with coffee, cause ghoul is struggling. It's struggling. Let's just, let's, let's pick out our spooky mug. All right, let's pick out our spooky mug of the day. Let's go, I have my spider nails. So let's do, we could either do the spider. I kind of just want to do this. We were going to do this one last time, but it had some funky thing at the bottom of it, which we're clear of now. So let's go with this guy, this spider web guy. It goes with our nails. Put our milk in here and our frother. And one of y'all in the spooky family told me to do this little thing, just kind of whirl it around a little bit, swirl it, whirl it, and then pour it into the mug. And then it should, like the foam won't get stuck in there. And it's been working like a charm. Now we've got our foam in there without having to muscle it in there, essentially. All right, let's get all bundled up and take our first sip of the day. Cheers, everyone clinking our spooky mugs together. <laughs> Does anyone else look forward to the first sip of coffee of the day or tea or whatever beverage you like in the morning? But mine is the first sip of coffee of the day. I think about it the night before, like how glorious it's going to taste and be and all the warmth and mm, it's just so good. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I just look forward to it every night before <laughs> I go to bed. <laughs> uh, it is another day in 2024 paradise per usual around here. We're decorating for Easter. That's what we're doing today. And I'm not gonna lie, it took everything in me to get out of that bed this morning. Lucian woke up at six, but he also woke up, he went to bed at 6.30, woke up at 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, and finally, after a 9.30 dance party, essentially, he went to bed at 10.30. And at that point, I felt like I had gotten beat up. And then I woke up at 4 o'clock in the morning because means, y'all, she cannot shake this latest UTI. I got to call the vet today because she's still got this UTI. She, it it kind of went away and then came back. So I got a call today. and uh, But I woke up last night and she had soaked her blankets, had to get her cleaned up, change out her blankies, all that. I feel so sorry for her. But essentially, day 5 million and 22 of me not getting any sleep. <laughs> but I will say, the only thing keeping me somewhat rested, and this is the perfect leeway into the sponsor for today's video, is our bed situation. Our whole bed setup, I'm like very particular about it right now. Like this whole bed setup, our bed, our mattress topper, our pillows, our comforter, Everything, the way the blankets are, means his bed, the situation, like everything, how it's arranged. Like the little bit of sleep I'm getting, I need it to be good. So thanks to Birch, which is actually the sponsor for today's video. So thank you, Birch, for sponsoring this video. I can actually get a little bit of rest around here. If you haven't heard me talk about Birch before, Birch makes mattresses crafted from organic and natural materials that have been sustainably sourced. And their mattresses are free from polyurethane foams, which can cause harmful off-gassing and are also free from fiberglass, which can be harmful to your health. And it was important to me to choose a birch mattress that's made from organic and natural materials because as I mentioned before, not only am I avoiding the harmful off-gassing, but also I love that unlike synthetic mattresses, the wool in the birch mattresses make them hypoallergenic. And if you know your ghoul, especially in the springtime, then you know I have allergies in the spring. They've been especially bad this year. Uh, but what's going on outside is enough for me. Uh, so to have my mattress be hypoallergenic is so nice not to have to just add that to my list of things to be allergic to. And I ordered the Birch Lux mattress, which is a premium upgrade to their original well-loved Birch natural mattress. I've had my mattress now, I think we've had it now two years, 
My Birch mattress, I will say, has been so much better than my old mattress. I didn't realize how long I had my old mattress and I'm sleeping terrible and had no idea why. I was like, I wonder why. And then we got our Birch mattress. I noticed a huge difference in my sleep and how quickly I fell asleep, the quality of my sleep. And also with your Birch mattress, you get a 100 night sleep trial along with a 25 year warranty. And the best part of all is Birch delivers your mattress straight to your door for free within the US. They also offer in-home setup and removal to make your buying experience as convenient as possible. It's super easy to set up. It comes in a box. You just take it out of the box, unravel it, watch it take shape, and then put it on your bed and you're ready to sleep. So if you've been looking to upgrade your sleep, it's the perfect time to check out Birch Living. You can get 20% off a Birch mattress plus two free Eco Rest pillows by visiting birchliving.com slash jadethelibra. That's birchliving.com slash jadethelibra. Also have it down in the description box and a QR code right here or right here. Somewhere around here, there'll be a QR code if you want to scan that and you can get yourself a new mattress. I love our Birch mattress, our mattress topper, our pillows, our comforter. Everything from Birch, we love it. Oh, my bed is my happy place, I'm not gonna lie. And now that I mention it, I'm probably gonna go crawl back in bed for a little bit longer with Dallas, Lucian, and Means and snuggle up. Pretty sure they're watching Miss Rachel right now. And I'll meet you guys back down here because we're gonna do some decorating today. All right, hey everyone, we're back. Oh, here we go. I pretty much backcombed my hair into oblivion. And also I backcombed it so hard that um my hat barely fits right now but that's all right we got to do what we got to do to look like we have more than two hairs on our head anyway okay so we're back we're gonna decorate this mantle this is what we're starting with today my favorite place to decorate ever but for easter i'm slightly confused like i don't know for sure what we're gonna do i wanted to keep my dark aesthetic up there that i have all year round and incorporate some Easter-ish things. And if you're like, cool, you gotta do pastels, it's Easter. We're gonna do pastels, but we're doing them in the kitchen. So in here, I wanted to keep it black and white, kind of my dark aesthetic in here, but bring in Easter. But, you know, as, as expected, there's not much out there in the black and white Easter department. I'm not gonna lie, it's hard for me to go for something more simple because especially if you know, you know, with Halloween, I've been collecting Halloween for over 12 years and this is my first year really getting anything Easter. So uh, I'm not used to having so little to work with, I guess. I'm used to having, you know, just like going all out on my mantle. So it's gonna be a learning experience. It's gonna be a challenge for me. I guess I should say. We'll see where the spooky wind blows us, but here we go. We're starting with the mantle. I'm gonna switch cameras real quick. Here we go. All right, so I'm gonna quickly dust. I should probably get my Dyson out, but whatever. We're just gonna dust it really quick. All right, I'm gonna use this Mrs. Meyers Clean Day in the apple cider scent. I should probably be using a spring scent, but I don't have any. Whatever, it's always October around here, so we're going with the apple cider scent. And I'm just gonna wipe, uh oh, I got some on my mirror. I'm gonna wipe that off. It smells so good in here now. I'm just wiping this down. Quickly, quickly. I thought about doing like those grassy bunnies. You know, the grassy bunnies? Thought about doing that, like a mushroom, because I have some mushrooms that I got from Joann's from their holiday collection a couple of years ago. And I thought about doing that, but then I was like, no, I kind of wanted, like I saw these white bunnies and I wanted to incorporate them. So we're gonna, I'll show you them here in a second. All right, so in the center for my centerpiece, I talked about when we were out Easter decor hunting, I talked about how, what did I talk about? What didn't we talk about is the question. I don't know, I lost my train of thought. Uh, oh, I know, I wanted an egg for the centerpiece. And I never did find my egg, but that's okay. I did find an egg that had a butterfly on it. And some of you had the most brilliant idea of making the butterfly into a death moth. But then I realized like I quickly humbled myself with my DIY skills. Like I know I can't, I'm not a good DIYer. So I don't know, maybe I thought about taking it on, but I didn't even go back to home goods, to be honest with you. So we're doing this instead. We're putting up this good old Salem witch house. 
because why not keep it spooky for Easter? It is Easter ween after all. And I feel like the little, if the, I got this from Target last year, I think. And about, you know, I feel like this Salem Witch House goes with everything. I needed something in the center because I want to put these bunnies, let me show you, on either side like this. This was my plan with these. I got these from Home Goods, And I was going to paint them black, but I kind of like that they're white. But I might change my mind later. I mean, it would look cooler if they were black because everything else I'm putting up here is going to be black. But I don't know. I kind of liked the white. How close do I want these? That, I don't know yet. We're just going to leave them there for now. At this point, I don't know what I'm doing. This is my only idea I had. So we're just gonna add filler things, to somehow make it work. I don't have a lot of white decor to pull in these bunnies, but I feel like the white mantle is enough for me. I don't really, I don't feel like it's gonna throw it off too bad. I'm gonna put these candelabras up here. These are from Target. Uh, their threshold line, a couple years ago, they had these candelabras, these metal candelabras with flowers, thought those were cute for spring. Sometimes I just like to leave candelabras bare without any candlesticks in them, but I can put some candlesticks in them and see how we feel about it. And go from there, let me get my other ones. These, oh, these fit perfectly in this, they're usually crooked. Thought about putting my classic lanterns here. I don't think I'm gonna put branchy trees up, which would be a huge deal for me, because you know me, have you been around here for a while, then you know that I freaking love using branchy trees for everything. But I don't know. Also, I guess I could put stuff in here like Easter eggs, but I don't really want pastels in here. I, can't, I guess I could just use white eggs, but I just, I don't know. Kind of just wanting to keep it kind of classy in here. Just... Lanterns, maybe some floral, bunnies, random witch house. That's the vibe I'm going for. So this is gonna be one of those perfectly symmetrical looking mantles, but I'm not even mad at it. My Libra soul loves a symmetrical mantle. And it drives other people absolutely mad. And that's okay. You do you. Okay. So, how are we doing this? Whatever. Where's my other little, with this, oh wait, we have this pushed back, so this is coming in. Like that. Is that how it looks? I don't know. Let's look. I feel like we have a lot of room for improvement because I basically just added bunnies to my normal mantle. Over here also in my living room, I can't put a lot on coffee tables and stuff right now because of Lucian, but he's not tall enough yet to get up on this table. So we're safe for now. But uh, in, on my little drippy, drippy table, or I call it my udder table, because it looks like udders to me. <laughs> well, that's besides the point. Okay, um, I'm gonna put this guy, I'm gonna put this guy that we got from Home Goods. This little, hold on, we're also gonna put some coasters here. But it's this folky looking rabbit. I'm gonna put right here. And should I put my little, I'm gonna put my aloe plant maybe. This aloe plant, I've had it for 5,000 years. It's not looking so hot, but it's not looking that bad either. In my dining room, we're just gonna add a couple little things. I have these ghosties in here from Halloween. I need to take these ghosties down because I'm not gonna keep the ghosties for Easter. I could do Easter ween, but we're about to do halfway to Halloween. We're probably gonna have to end up using some of them on the mantle. Okay, just I'm not planning on doing too much on this table. Just a little centerpiece situation. But maybe one year we'll get creative and make a little centerpiece, but this year we're keeping it simple. We weren't even planning on really decorating much for Easter, but here we are. Candlestick situations here. I think I got these off of Amazon. I'll try to link what I can in the description. 
Like I got my drippy table or my utter table, I call it. <laughs> and I got these candle sticks and the, uh, what are these things? Candle stick holders, all from Amazon. So I'll link what I can. Anyways, I kind of do a little bit of a, I don't know, what are we doing? I have these, I'm definitely gonna put these here. These, these candlestick holders I got from at home. And you know what? I could have used these on the mantle to incorporate the white bunnies, but no, we're going to use them in here because we don't have anything else really for our dining room. So this is what we're doing. But next year, that's a thought. If we don't spray paint those bunnies black, we can use these to incorporate the white. That's a good plan. Oh wait, I didn't zoom you in. Okay. I also have this black bunny. And I, I want something bigger for the centerpiece, but this year, this is all I got. This little short squatty guy. It's driving me crazy because these three things are all the same height, but I'll get over it. Okay, let's move on to the kitchen and then we're gonna do the bathroom. All right, so moving on to my kitchen, I have this little area. You have these little canisters here. And so I definitely wanted to incorporate pastels. If you watched my, I think it was, my Halloween decor hunting video where I got these little canisters, these little Easter canisters, and I wanted to incorporate them into my black and white aesthetic in here and bring in some pastel Easter. I almost said Halloween, you know I did. You know, to bring in some cutesy stuff for Lucian. So I have this little bunny canister guy. Wait, can I even open this? There you go, what's in there? On this side, I'm gonna put this cute little chick canister also from home goods but kind of that vintage cutesy kitschy vibe i wanted to put some spring soaps and stuff on here i didn't have any of the mrs meyer spring stuff i didn't get any of the spring stuff because i thought i had a bunch still i did manage to find this mrs meyer's rose scent there's still quite a bit left in this bottle i did find this upstairs in my bathroom it's dusty as hell hold on let me work that off but I don't have any soaps. So we're just gonna go with good old orange clove, my favorite. Let me wipe this off too, it's crusty. Everything in my life at this point is crusty. But it is what it is. Okay, we're gonna do that. And then I have this cute little bunny got from Target. I thought that would go cute in here. Is that cute? Oh wait. Let me back up. And then we're gonna drape a little towel. I'm not gonna lie, I've already been using this because it's so cute. I'm gonna drape this towel over my little dishwasher area. Black and white Easter towel. Oh my gosh, my nose just started running randomly. Man, spring. Whoa, I need to go blow my nose, BRB. Anyways, I'm adding this wrinkly ass towel to this little area. Wait, it's backwards. I think that's cute. Let's try to press out the wrinkles. I'll zoom you in a little bit so you can see. Okay. And just have it look all fancy. I'm one of those people. Okay, let me know in the comments. Do you use your festive towels and or let guests or anyone else in your family use your festive towels or are they for decoration only? Let me know in the comments. For me, I, I know this is like a real big, it's like a big thing. I had a lot of family members who had four decoration towels only. In my house, we use them because I like an excuse to buy new festive towels every couple years or so, or if I can use them multiple years, then I'll use them multiple years. But if they get worn out or they don't look right, then I'll buy new ones. Like I like to buy, you know, new festive towels. I feel like they come out with cute stuff every year. So I like buying new festive towels but let me know down in the comments if you use your towels your festive towels obviously you use towels but do you use your festive fancy towels or not are they just for decoration let me know wait let's keep pulling it weird okay we're done in here all right hey everyone we're here in the powder room this is our final stop we're gonna add a couple little things in here we'll just start doing it i don't know why i'm jabbing my jaws here we go all right, so around the sink, I just wanted to do some little bunnies. Let me zoom you in. So I found these little bunnies from Target. And this guy maybe here, or maybe this guy here. Like that. Do the big guy over here, and then the little guy here. What do we think? 
All right, here's what it looks like. Let me, I think I have that scooped over for a reason. It's kind of my little Easter garden. And then over here, we're gonna use, we're gonna use the sister to the other towel that we used in the kitchen. The same black and white bunny towel. It came with two. So why not use one in here? Goes with the black, white, and green, and now gold theme in here. All right, let's get a full visual. So that is it for this video. We are officially done decorating for Easter around here. It is our first year decorating for Easter. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, let me know any of your Easter themes. Do you like in your face Easter? Do you like the little grassy guys or black and white? Let me know how you're decorating. Or maybe you just go for a full-blown Easter ween vibe with little vampire bunnies or little bats with little bunny ears or something. That was fun. I'm so glad we did this. And we were initially decorating for Easter for Lucian, but now I feel like I like it. So maybe we're decorating for ourselves now. But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say, hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Anything else you want to chit chat about down in the comments or any videos you want to see during halfway to Halloween, let me know down in the comments. I have some things planned. Some videos I was wanting to do last Halloween season that I didn't get done, uh, but let me know what you want to see down in the comments during halfway to Halloween. Any little Halloween video pick me up, so let me know. Regardless, thank you so much for hanging out here. Happy Easterween, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.